And as the economy improves, some local employers are complaining that they just can't find enough qualified workers to fill open jobs. So what they're doing is pressuring schools to graduate students who are ready to work. Education reporter Rich Van White takes us inside a Lawrence school in a program that appears to be working for students and employers. Lug nuts and tires have Lauren Metz on a road toward a career in mechanical engineering. Well, get my hands dirty pretty much every day. Around the corner, hands and minds are working to solve the comic complexities of a Rube Goldberg contraption students conceived and built. I'm just trying to figure out where like, like my career might go in engineering and like, just like the basis of engineering. Across the hall, David Miller is perfecting his pair of wooden sunglasses. I was in Spain over the summer, and I saw we were in Barcelona, and there were a bunch of vendors selling wooden sunglasses, and they were charging like $200 for a pair. So the future industrial engineer decided to make his own. In this setting, I have just the resources available to me that I would in the professional world. Precision laser cutters, computer-controlled milling machines, three-dimensional printers, and design software. Lawrence Township Schools is among those leading the effort to prepare students for jobs. These gadgets, gizmos, and tools that were designed and made by students in this curriculum involve the skills and training that manufacturers and other industries say they're not finding when they try to fill jobs. We turned out what we wanted to turn out. We taught what we wanted to teach. Now we teach what they want us to make sure that students know. Swarskov says not too long ago, classes were only half full with mostly problem students. Now the McKinsey Center is at capacity. Kids compete to get in. These are our problem solving kids. These are our high achieving students. These are the ones that go in a two year, four year degree programs and also capable of entering the world of work. Along with crucial career skills, students are learning confidence. I can make what I, whatever I want to do happen. Hopeful words for employers desperate for skilled workers. Rich Van Wyk, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. The McKinsey Career Center says more than 8 out of 10 graduates go on to additional training or to college, and many others go directly to the workforce.